So I want to bounce back a bit to soft sim and Monte Carlo simulations because I think that's mm -hmm. something that's pretty interesting. And then, you know, you can go a lot of different ways as far as the software goes. So from your experience at Planetary, how were Monte Carlo simulations used? And then what were they useful for? Like what kind of stuff were you looking for in doing these simulations? Yeah, so a Monte Carlo simulation... Well, let's say um, anything that has statistical variation. And so that might be if you're building something, the length of a rod. Every time you build that rod, it's going to have some tolerance there mm -hmm. that, that is, you know, based on some statistics that, you know, maybe it's normally distributed or something in some way. Um, same, same with everything else, like sensors. Sensors are going to have some amount of error. There's going to have some amount of bias. And that bias is not going to be the exact same every time you turn off and turn on the sensor. That bias is going to move. And how it moves is going to have some distribution. And it might be Gaussian. It might be uniform. It might be some crazy distribution, whatever it is, you know. Um, and, and, and so you want to ask yourself this question. Can my, I know my system, well, maybe you don't, but let's say I know my system works if everything that I'm predicting about it is right on, but everything has these statistical variations in it. And I don't know if my system is going to work if the bias on my star tracker is in one direction, the bias in my magnetometer is in the other, the momentum of my reaction wheel is in a, you know, is a little bit high and the torque that I can get out of my torque rod is a little bit low and the time it takes to do my calculations is a little bit high and all of that stuff, right? You wanna vary all of these things according to their probability distributions. And, it, and, it, and if you can't do it mathematically, and what I mean by that is if you can't just like multiply two Gaussians together to, to you know, determine what your new probability di distribution looks like, what you end up doing is just sampling your system hundreds of times or thousands of times. And every sample, every time you, you create a new instance of your simulation, all of those variations are, are tweaked according to their own probability distributions. And so that as the number of samples goes to infinity, you will have simulated your system in every possible feasible configuration and th that, that, that exists. Obviously that's impossible. So what you aim for is enough runs to get a you know, statistically significant swath of the entire state space. Um, and so that's essentially what a Monte Carlo is. A Monte Carlo is setting up your system to run over and over and over and over and over again with each time being initialized in a slightly different state, but a state that is that has some probability of it being in there. And then let's say you run a thousand times. You can look across all of those and say, did I meet my pointing budget across all of them? And more often than not, you're going to say no. Out of a thousand, I missed three, three times. There's three configurations out of a thousand where I miss my pointing budget. Well, that's where the statistics come in on the requirements because the requirements might say, I need to meet one degree plus or minus three sigma. Mm -hmm. um, and what that's saying is like, uh, you, you know, uh, or, you know, three, yeah, one, one degree, three sigma. It's basically, it's saying like three out of a thousand times, it's okay that I miss that as long as the other times I'm within, uh, you know, I'm within my, my requirement. And so that's what Monte Carlo is good for. It it's allows you to set up your simulation with all the probabilities of everything that you think, and then just brute force run through a whole bunch of different variations and, and get statistics on how well your system does. So as long as you have good enough models for all your systems, all these um, kind of statistical variations of every single component of your system, you can create kind of, as you said, like a brute force state space where you say this many times out of this many times. And is that enough to be able to convince a whole team or to go forward with a design that says this system will work to this percentage of certainty? Well, sure. I mean, it's the same as anything, right? It's model-based design. So it's only as good as your model. And so the majority of, if you have to go off and, and defend your design, 
if you do model-based design, a lot of your defense is going to be in defense of the model. And you're going to say, here is why I trust this model. I compared it to this physical hardware in this situation. I compared it to this peer reviewed paper in this other situation. I compared it to what project X did last year, you know, whatever it is. And you're like, I've, I've gained trust in this model. Um, here are the, here are the parameters I varied. And these are the statistical distributions that I chose and why. Here are the parameters I didn't vary because I, for whatever reason, I, I did a sensitivity test on this one parameter and it didn't seem to impact the, 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 the design at all. Mm -hmm. So I've ignored that. This one isn't on in this mode. So I've ignored that, right? And you just like set up a defense. You just say, here's why I trust my model. Here's what I did. And then here are the results. And this, you know, and then, then, then you get peer reviewed in, right? You get external auditors or people that, that, um, you know, know what they're talking about and haven't been involved in it day in and day out to come in and say, oh, but did you think about this? And then you say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, or whatever. And, and eventually, you know, you've convinced yourself and some, you know, independent auditors or whatever it is that your company or has decided to do, um, to, you know, to gain trust. But Monte Carlo is no different than model-based designing your control system to begin with, right? It's, it's, do you trust your model? And if you do, then essentially all you've done is run your model a thousand times.